Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Row News. Now, I haven't uploaded a video in about three days, I believe, and that's just because I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 non-stop. It just came out, and I'm having so much fun with the game. Even though that game is so much fun, I gotta remember that I do have a channel, and I have a responsibility to be uploading on it, so I gotta hit you guys up with that Row News episode, so let's get right into it. The first story we have today is a huge Roblox YouTuber with over 300,000 subs, named Pink Ant actually got terminated on Roblox for a pretty stupid reason in my opinion. Now basically what happened is some kid was trying to troll their favorite YouTuber and he actually had quite a bit of items, right? So what he did was sent Pink Ant a trade for about 400,000 Robux worth of items. What he was going to do is go decline it really quick after he sent it, but Pink Ant actually accepted the trade really fast and got to it and the kid got really upset about losing all his items like that over a troll and he asked Pink Ant for his items back but Pink Ant denied. So after that, the kid contacted Roblox and basically said that Pink Ant scammed him out of all his items, and Roblox went ahead and deleted his account, which is really messed up. Now this happened a couple days ago, but Pink Ant actually emailed Roblox, their appeal team, and he got denied, so he's not going to be getting his account back. Also, funny enough, the kid who lost all his items reported that Pink Ant actually hacked him, and he didn't actually end up getting his items back either, so pretty much he got Pink Ant terminated for no reason, so Pink Ant lost about, I think it was like 5 million Robux worth of items, which is absolutely insane. I couldn't even imagine losing that much. But I feel really bad for Pink Ant right now, but that just goes to show you guys, if somebody sends you like a trade like that, do not accept that, because they can get you terminated so easily. It's a big flaw in Roblox's moderation system that they need to fix. The next story we have here is from Nathrix, and apparently he's deciding to go child friendly on his channel now. He apparently deleted every single one of his old videos on his channel. I'm not sure why he did that, I guess he's starting fresh, but everybody knows that if you swear in videos or cuss in videos, YouTube actually promotes your video less and you get a lower CPM, meaning you make less money doing it and you get less views as well, so that's why a lot of people are actually switching to be child friendly now. But I do wish him the very best luck with that because I know deleting all your previous videos must be really scary for him. But speaking of Nathrix, that actually brings us into our next story. Now if you guys don't know, a bunch of YouTubers, including myself, made this group called The Rogue Gang. And the Rogue Gang is basically going to be a version of the Pals, I guess, or the Crew, something like that, but with a bunch of other YouTubers. Now here's everybody who is in it. Chloe Games, Bandites, Green Lego Cats, Daxel, Dimer Dylan, Nathrix, myself, Isotoxic, and Kaneko Kitten. We're going to be doing like videos together and stuff like that and playing different Roblox games, so I'm really excited for that. Now the next story is a little bit of an update to the Roblox catalog. Now, before you could actually delete items from your inventory, and the hackers would be so scummy to delete rare and expensive items on people's accounts that they hacked, but Roblox has solved that, and what they did was completely remove the delete button so you can no longer delete items from your inventory, so that is really cool. I'm really happy that they did that. But speaking of the Roblox catalog, it turns out that Arthro packages are actually going to be able to be limited too. We're going to have some like rare Arthro packages coming soon. I have no idea when the first limited Arthro package is going to come out, but you guys will be able to trade limited Arthro packages for like hats and stuff to other players, so that is really cool. Now I know you guys are all getting bored of this Arthro news because Arthro is just so hyped right now, but guys, there are six more new Arthro bundles that are out right now, and a couple of them are actually Halloween themed as well, so they're probably going to go off sale after like Halloween ends. I'd probably recommend buying them if you want, they look pretty cool. And the last story today is the 6th annual Bloxy Awards is out, so you guys can actually vote if you guys want to go vote for like your favorite content creators and different things like that. I'll have the link down below. I know a lot of people don't like the Bloxy Awards because they're kind of rigged, but I guess every vote counts, who knows guys, so go ahead and slap your favorite YouTuber in there or whatever your favorite content creator. Go vote for your favorite game, stuff like that. I'm sorry that this Row News episode was really short, it only ended up being about 4 minutes or so, but I still wanted to get this uploaded because I haven't made a video in a couple days, so I had to get something out. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Row News episode.